Welcome to Tesla Bytes. Where is our view? GIS in small bytes. Today we will discuss how to use domains in ArcGIS Pro. In this video, we will talk about how to work with one of the components of a data model domain in ArcGIS Pro. We'll start with what is a domain, how to use it, where to use it, and so on. Domain allows us to model specific values to be used on the fields in your layers. When we create a domain and apply it to a field, we limit the choice of values available for that field. This decreases the possibility of entering invalid information while editing. Therefore, increasing the integrity of the data model overall. In this example, I'll be using Houston Road Network data. As you can see in this feature class, we have many attributes like street, street name, the speed, and also we have a field named road class. This road class numbers are like a code, but it does not say much to us about the road. We also have an Excel table where we have these codes and a description for them. We'll try to get this table as a domain and then connect that to this feature class. To do that, first we need to get this table into the GeoDatabase. For that, we will choose Table to Table tool. Let's check all the fields. So the road class, the type is double and the description is text. While working with domains, please keep an eye on the properties of the field that you want to connect. Here we want to connect road class of this table with the road class in this attribute table. The road class in the table that we have has double data type and if you look here road class is short therefore it's better to change it to short integer okay now we have this table in our geo database let's close this now in the catalog view if you go to your geo database where you have this feature class and this excel table and you right click and go to domains, it shows that there is nothing because we haven't created anything yet. Remember, domains are related to GeoDatabase. Now we are going to use this table as a domain. To do that, we want to use the table to domain tool. Code field will be our road class and description is the description of the road class. Input workspace will be our geo database with which we want to connect this domain. This is the domain and here is the codes and the descriptions. Here is road class and you see there is a domain option right here. If you double click here, you see this drop down menu and you can select this domain. Let's save this and go back to the attribute table. As you can see, the road class values has been changed from those numbers to these actual descriptions. Now, what is the use of that? What we can do here instead of using these numbers if you select this select symbology let's select the root class now i like this better now every different color has a different name and it's very easy to understand what is what to recap in this video we discussed what is a domain, its functionality, and how to use it. We also saw 
why it is important. I think this is a great stopping point. This has been Tesla Bytes, where we serve view GIS in small bytes. Thank you for watching and please be sure to visit us at www.tessellations.us. Also, subscribe and ring that bell.